Oh, in Proverbs chapter one, it talks about um, how God gives prudence to the simple. And prudence, y'all, I looked it up um, because me and the boys are studying Proverbs. We go through a proverb every day in homeschool. We just read one verse. And that's prudence is knowing what to do and when to do it. It's being um, able to self-govern, basically, is prudence. And so... I was just like, wow, like, I don't have to sit around and wonder what should I do or how should I do it? You know, like God is there to let me know what to do when, but it feels, um, what's the word for it? Like uncomfortable sometimes when that I have to, you know, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and not like, um, have this huge burden of a task list over me or maybe I do have a huge burden of a task list but having the wisdom to trust God and say okay these are the things that he wants me to do and somehow he'll take care of all the things even though there are the things that I want to accomplish or I want to figure out how to do it all there's a trust that needs to be there IG Farms, it's all about God. <laughs> I am coming to you. Yes, I am walking. <laughs> and you know what that means. Yes, I'm coming to you with a walk and talk. And <sighs> I'm just such a beautiful day. I think it's actually going to be 70 degrees. <laughs> 70 degrees today. And uh, it's it's really not that cold out. I think I could probably even be out in a long sleeve t-shirt and be fine. But it's just a little bit um, nippy in the air. Um, I think the low today is only 60. So, um, yeah, it's Mississippi, y'all. It's the middle of winter, but the high is 70 and the low is 60. So, I mean, it should be a really nice day. It should feel like a spring day today. But I'm so just excited to have the the joy of walking our property and praying and also talking to you and being able to bring you along and share it with you. So, I know all of you really want to hear an update about um, me being full-time on the farm and homeschooling and... IG farm mamaing it and so I just just what I want to share with you basically today is how everything has been going and it's been going great like really really great it's been amazing to be on the farm to be with the boys I mean y'all hear the sights and the sounds I it's just it really is like a ministry to my soul just to be here and to be able to be still and not to just be in that rat race of running back and forth and it's it's very different it has its own difficulties you know um because the thing that i've been most afraid of y'all has been um trying to be or 
learning to be self-disciplined. And that's something that I really, really struggle with. And that's something that the Lord wants to teach me. And there's just no easy way to learn it. I just have to like give myself over to God and learn it. And that's probably um, the thing that I've learned the most so far is um, just stop looking for the easy way. You know, <laughs> there's not really an easy um, out, an easier way. This is a season that the Lord has me in and I need to just um, operate in that season. And, you know, it will um, get easier, you know, for me as I release <laughs> and allow the Lord to show me and teach me. Because it's, uh, and I think easy might even be a hard, those might be the wrong words. Because this is a spiritual thing. The Lord says that his burden is light, <laughs> you know? So it's, I'm not saying that it's like something that is like hard. Um, it's actually much easier, much lighter than running the rat race, but it goes against every way that I've been trained my whole life and it goes against like my flesh my desires what i think and that type of yielding is difficult in the sense okay i got it y'all it's like a warrior or a soldier that has to be trained for battle and so it's discipline, it's correction, it's learning, it's molding, it's allowing yourself to be shaped. And that is its own difficulty, right? But when you give yourself to that and you're trained and you become molded into what the Lord wants you to be, then you can operate on the battlefield in the way that you need to operate. And I'm thinking about, you know, how you watch movies and there's this well-trained soldier and he goes in the battle and he can like, you know, dodge this and dodge that and hand-to-hand -hand combat and um, knows exactly what to do and, and when to do it. And that is prudence. You know, in Proverbs chapter one, it talks about um, how God gives prudence to the simple and prudence y'all i looked it up um because me and the boys are studying proverbs we go through a proverb every day in homeschool we just read one verse and that's prudence is knowing what to do and when to do it it's being um able to self-govern basically is prudence and so i was just like wow like i don't have to sit around and wonder what should i do or how should i do it you know like god is there to let me know what to do when but it feels um what's the word for it like uncomfortable sometimes when that i have to you know follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and not like um, have this huge burden of a task list over me. Or maybe I do have a huge burden of a task list, but having the wisdom to trust God and say, okay, these are the things that he wants me to do. And somehow he'll take care of all the things, even though there are the things that I want to accomplish or I want to figure out how to do it all. There's a trust that needs to be there um, when you follow the Lord and you follow the Holy Spirit. And there's like an offering, like a giving, like, okay, Lord, this may not get done the way I want it to get done. 
in the manner that I want it to get done and how I want it to get done. But I trust you that if you're saying do this and not this or this or that, that that's what I need to be doing. And I offer all the rest to you. And that is what the Lord is trying to teach me. And I'm just uh, <sighs> willing to learn it. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. I'm going to be willing to learn it to, to give myself to it. To um, allow the Lord to just train me like his, his soldier. His soldier. So... That's probably what, I mean, just from my standpoint, from IG Farm Mama standpoint, what I'm learning the most is how to be self-governing. And um, <laughs> it's still a little rocky, y'all. I'm going to be honest. It's still a little rocky. It's some things I'm learning. And... I can't get too comfortable. When I master one thing, it's like I already should have been working on the next thing. <laughs> and um, the Lord's just, you know, showing me, highlighting those things, the next thing. When I um, feel as if, okay, I got this day, you know, got the um, homeschool, got homeschooling the boys, been getting them up, you know, we've been disciplined doing a certain amount of time making sure we go through the subjects that we need to go through and we've been doing a really great job um of just the basics um we start out with our little bible study i told y'all about we're studying in proverbs chapter one just one scripture a day then we talk about it we talk about the word we define some of the words that we may not understand or that aren't familiar to us and then we um, work on spelling if we can't spell some of the words. And then Tim usually, um, Tim Jr., he has words from his, he does a uh, Bible reading every day and writes a paragraph. And so he has words that he doesn't um, understand or needs to spell. And so from the day before, we go over those words and we make sure that he knows how to spell those words. And then that's our opportunity for Titus also to um, spell some of the words that he can spell and Noah comes up and he writes his letters and so it's so wonderful because our Bible study also is teaching us spelling is teaching us reading and writing and vocabulary so that's how you know we start off our homeschool day and then we go even either into more reading or into math and so we've just been doing that basic thing of reading writing and math and for noah he's working on just counting right now and titus and tim are both working on addition and then once we go through all the addition facts we'll work on subtraction and then we'll just move up and that's just our simple basic homeschool that we have laid out for now. And we're of course going to add to that and expand on that. But right now I'm just trying to keep it as simple and as basic as possible and figure out what areas they need to work on more. And that's been going amazingly. And I think the boys love it. They have recess time, they have snack time, they have break time. And um, so that has been going really really well and then the lord's like oh here are these other things <laughs> i want you to do and um it's it's like a growth process he's continually you know pushing me to get the next thing to um yeah just not um i don't want to say not be satisfied because I am satisfied in him, but to not be stagnant and to pursue growth. And I'm like, Lord, it's only been two weeks, <laughs> you know, 
but he knows me. And so I love that he continues to challenge me. And those challenges may not always come wrapped up in ice cream cone, you know, um, and make home through things that are difficult, you know, but I just look at it like I'm being trained. I'm gonna come let the dogs out. I just look at it like I'm being trained as a good little soldier. Come on, boys. No. Look. All right. Has it let the dogs out? Okay. No. They're over here. They stalk the ducks and the chicken, or the duck and the chickens all day. They just every once in a while, Solomon will try to attack me. We try not to let that happen. And we say no. You know, in the cage where he stalks one, but. <sighs> anyway. So, yes, yeah, so homeschool is going great. It's going beautifully. Learning to be um, self governing and managing that. But it's not just me, because if I was just self governing and doing it by myself, then it would be a mess. <laughs> but it's, you know, self governing in terms of there's no other person that is lording over me. I don't want to have to have another person lording over me. Of course, I want it to be held accountable, but I desire for um, me to be able to hear from the Holy Spirit, me to be able to hear from the Lord on what to do and when to do it. And that is prudence. So he gives prudence to the simple. So somebody that doesn't know what to do, is not self-disciplined, has never had to do anything but just clocking in and not govern herself. And it's just very simple in that way. Um, not savvy or smart in that way. The Lord gives prudence to be able to do that. And so that is my word that I'm standing on because I realize how important now that spiritual times and seasons are. And, you know, I'm the type of person that waits right up until the deadline to do something or that doesn't do something until there's pressure. And I can't, you know, the Lord's not like that. He's not going to hang the deadline over you um, in that way, you know, like the world does. But there is still a, like a, a an opening. There, there, it's only going to be open, you know, for a certain time. And I think a lot of times, like, as a Christian, I think, oh, I have time, you know, like, I have time to do this. Or you put off things that aren't, you know, pressing on you. But those are the things that the Lord wants us to do. And he's giving opportunities. He's not lording it over us. Like, you have to do this. Like, the world, you know, like, um, so... It's, it's just like a, a seed, you know? You can't plant it in the wrong season and expect it to grow. And I'm just, um, the Lord is showing me over and over how important it is to do things in the right season, at the right time. And I'm, that's what I'm praying for. I'm just praying for prudence. I'm asking the Lord for prudence. Um, that's such an old school word. You know, who even in 2023 knows what prudence means, you know? But it's such an 
awesome or you know knowing what to do and when to do that who who doesn't need that who doesn't need prudence <laughs> you know so i'm just realizing that um that's a gift from god that he wants to give no matter how smart you think you are or how smart or you how <laughs> how much you know you aren't that smart you know that god is that's a gift that god wants to give through his wisdom and so it's up to us if we want to um kind of follow the world system of being run by deadlines and a rat race and you know just running back and forth or if we want to follow the small voice and prompt things of the holy spirit when there's no pressure to do it it's just like this is what i want you to do and that removes that burden but can we still be effective if we don't have that you know outside burden hanging on us but you know what moves us and what drives us is that inside fire of the holy spirit that should should move us prompt us like give us the excitement and the energy and the drive to go and do it to listen to that voice and to hear that voice and to move and to act and so that is my prayer for us today that instead of being governed by the world and its deadlines and its burdens that we will follow the still small voice and the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And it will be the fire inside of us, the fire of the Holy Spirit that would drive us instead of um, that burden of a deadline. So Lord Jesus, I thank you for those that have stuck with me to the very end. And Lord, I am reminded that you are faithful to those who don't deny you, who don't shy away from you, and who stick with you till the very end. And I just pray that that would be our hearts, Lord, to stick with you till the very end, that our burden would not be the world and its deadlines, but it would be your promptings and your Holy Spirit would be our gasoline, our fire, our driving force. Help us, Lord, to grow in the areas where we need to grow. Give us the prudence to know what to do and when to do it. And Lord, let us not even be distracted by how we do it. Let us just be willing to just step out with the first foot in the water and leave those how questions even up to you, Lord. Let, just help us to be active in our faith and move it. Even if we don't know how we're going to do it or what step number two, three, four, and five are. Let's just start with step number one. So, Lord Jesus, I thank you for prudence. I thank you for allowing us during this walk to fan that flame of fire of Holy Spirit inside of us to do what you've called us to do. just because you called us to do it. I thank you for your peace that I feel right now, even in the wind blowing, even in the leaves falling, even in this beautiful weather, and even in everything I see that's a work of your hands. 
I trust you because you are a big and capable God. And I know that you're going to do the work in us that you desire and we desire for you to do it. And I just pray that in your spirit and in your truth, you would bring these things to pass in us. Amen. Oh, thank y'all for walking with me. I sometimes like y'all, I'm saying this to y'all, but I'm not saying it to y'all because I have it all figured out. Like I'm saying it and it's ministering to me and the Lord's using it to minister to me. And as I say it, the Lord is teaching me and kind of pulling these things together that he wants me to learn and so y'all this walk and talk has been amazing for me i feel refreshed i feel on fire i feel ready to like, run into the things that the lord wants me to accomplish today i feel like he's gonna show me how to be prudent i feel like the next time i get a prompting from the holy spirit i'm not gonna be afraid i'm not gonna be like how am i gonna do this what am i gonna do i'm gonna be like oh holy spirit fire and i'm gonna be able to step out and do it and so thank y'all for inspiring me and for walking with me <sighs> all right y'all i'm gonna call it it right there it's ig farms it's all about god i will see you on the next one